welcome to our channel in this session we are going to discuss about wrapper classes what is mean by this one simply the predefined classes from java dot lang package so java dot lang package consists of many predefined classes so the predefined classes from java dot lang package which are used to make primitive data types to make primitive data types are available in the form of object now understand the simple point the primitive data types are to be available in the form of objects is known as wrapper classes that means every primitive data type have it has own wrapper class every primitive data type in java have a predefined wrapper class is available now how many primitive data types have we have eight primitive data types so i will write down all the data types data type what are the data types byte short int long after that these are integer family next to float double char boolean so these are the primitive data types now write down the wrapper class now what the wrapper class simply primitive data type is in the form of object so the wrapper class class means the lem starts with upper case so here byte is the data type class name is byte short the class name is short int the class name is integer long class name is long float and double char the class name is character finally boolean the class name is boolean these are the data types and these are their corresponding wrapper classes okay once you know this one now you need to know two concepts one is boxing process another one is unboxing process first i will explain the boxing process simply the process of binding the primitive data type the process of binding the primitive data type values into into wrapper class objects is known as boxing process simple thing converting the primitive data type into object converting the primitive data type into an object is called boxing process the boxing process is done by using constructor the boxing process is done by using constructor now what is your next point e wrapper class the corresponding constructors wrapper class and the corresponding constructor what are the different wrapper class byte is the class so to convert a byte primitive data type into byte wrapper class object at the time of object creation we are using the constructor byte of with byte now i think you got point so byte of this is the constructor this is my primitive value 
so this statement converts my primitive into object not only by two types of constructor are there by it of string like this the remaining the class name is short the constructor short either take short value or it can take string value next one what is the class name integer so constructor integer of int value or integer of string value next class name long so long of some long value at the same time some string so every constructor takes their own data type along with the string value also anyway i will write down all the things float can take float value and float can take double also along with float can take string string is common now class name is double double can takes double of double value and double of string value now character character can take char value finally character does not take strings character is a single letter string is a sequence of group of characters so a character is not possible to take string so boolean finally boolean of some boolean variable or boolean of some string so total how many constructors 16 constructors simply eight wrapper classes total 16 constructors here float have three character has one anyway equal now you got it so boxing process means the process of binding the primitive data types into wrapper class object so just to for your understanding i will write down one program class demo wrapper 1 public static void main string ar gs of okay now within this main method within this main method what is the procedure of boxing process see this one integer assume ob1 is equal to new integer of some five here the meaning is this is the constructor yes or no five is my primitive data type so five is an integer value this integer value is converted into object the question is what is why we need to convert simply the frameworks does not use the frameworks does not use primitive data types frameworks works in object only that is the reason you need to convert your primitive data values into objects so here for example if you want to floating float some ob2 is equal to new float of 2.3f here what is mean by this one my floating value is converted into this object floating value is converted into this object remember if you want you can pass in the string format also mm, float of 12.3f you got the point for all the cases you can directly pass the primitive value or else you can pass in the string format if you want character suppose character some ob4 is equal to 
new character of so some letter this is some character so character d is converted into object now if you want boolean ob5 is equal to new boolean of true you got it so like this we can convert your primitive values into objects now print the value system dot out dot print ln display the values from objects just for understanding i written the message like this system dot out dot print ln so here you need to remember one method in in strings the method name is to string i think everyone remember what to string method do actually we are creating a string object string s s is an object not a data type to display the value from the object we can are using to string similarly to string is method applied on wrapper classes also even though you are not writing not a problem so by default to string is used to extract the data from either a string object or a wrapper class object so ob1 dot to string so you got it what is the purpose of to string the purpose is to extract the value from the object so ob1 dot to string ob2 dot ob3 dot 4 dot 5 dot like this you can extract the values okay now save this program dot java go to command prompt java c dot java so here observe all these are warnings observe these are not errors all these are warnings so you will understand the warning what is the warning integer of int in integer has been deprecated and marked for removal the meaning of this warning is in the future these integer flow to all these wrapper class constructors are going to be removed from the latest versions anyway right now you can use right now you can use sir what happened if these are deleted i will show you i will show you even though these are not written what happened so these are warning so i execute the program see this one it displays the values it displays the values right now you understand one point the boxing process means simply converting the primitive data type into wrapper class object exactly what is the next point unboxing process unboxing process unboxing process means the reverse one that is taking the primitive data type or extracting the primitive data types from the wrapper class objects so reverse one so data type to object is called boxing process from the object you are extracting the primitive data type is called unboxing process for that we are using different methods you are using different methods i will show you so what are the different methods for byte value the method name is public 
what is the return type we are extracting byte value so the return type is byte the method name is byte value of this is the method which is used to extract a byte primitive data type from byte class object like this public short short value of int int value of long long value of second word starts with the capital letter return type is float these are the primitive data types float value of double double value of end care care value of and finally boolean boolean value of so these are the methods which are used to extract the primitive extract the primitive data types from the object anyways are here i am using two string method okay no problem even though you are using two string method without using how see this one after if you want to do unboxing means first you need to do boxing process suppose int some a is equal to int a is equal to ob1 dot int value of now you got the point so ob1 dot int value from the object ob1 you are extracting the integer value that is placed in a variable suppose uh, next to float float b is equal to ob2 dot float value of now float some c is equal to ob3 dot float value of now next to one previous one fell oh. next one care care some d is equal to ob4 dot care value remember the method the constructor is used for creating object anyway you know this one so the syntax of creating an object but here integer float are all predefined classes for extracting the values you are using the method simply method is the data type value of that is the method name easy to remember boolean sum is equal to ob5 dot boolean value of okay like this you are extracting the values from the object now just to display the values not the object just to display the values here just to a variable b c d e okay save compile and run this program so again these are warnings See, we are displaying the values. Okay, fine. So, now you know that one. How to do boxing and unboxing process. Boxing and unboxings. What is the need? Simply the need is the frameworks that does use values directly. They can use in the form of objects. That is the reason you need to convert the primitive values into objects. Clear that point. Clear? So, now, so you are getting some warnings for that. I will do another one. Auto boxing process. Auto boxing. Next, auto unboxing. Anyway, you know this one. Boxing means primitive data types are available in the form of objects. Unboxing means objects are to be converted in the form of primitive data types. Auto means the boxing process is done automatically unboxing means 
the unboxing process is done automatically means you are not doing anything see without using constructor without using method automatically in the sense here you are using constructors for boxing process auto boxing means the constructors are not required here you are using methods for auto unboxing for unboxing auto unboxing means the methods are also not required now go to the same program instead of using constructor into ob1 is equal to 5 here 5 is automatically converted into an integer object 5 is automatically converted into integer object now you got it directly assigned there is no need of any constructor you got the point without any using any constructor i can directly convert my primitive data type into object this process is called auto boxing now what is auto unboxing without using any method directly if you assign the object automatically it extracts the value automatically see this one directly if assign the object now same program print all the values compile and execute so this one so here what is this one string is not converted why because uh, why because for the specific data type for specific data type auto boxing auto unboxing is available this is uh, not a specific data type this data type is string and that is a float. So, that is not possible. Same data type automatically possible. That is not a problem. Same data type is possible. Now, right now, observe, you are not getting any warnings also. Here, what is the concept? No need to use the constructor. No need to use the methods. That is the reason they are going to be deprecated in the future. No need to use that one. So, anyway, you are getting the answer. Anyway, you are getting the answer. Right? So, this is auto boxing, auto unboxings. Finally, remember all the wrapper class objects are by default immutable objects immutable objects all the wrapper class objects are immutable objects all the java tools and frameworks java tools and frameworks hold the data in the form of objects so because of this region we are converting the primitive data types in the form of objects. This is the concept of wrapper classes. Thank you.